Take a circle curve and scale it up as needed. Add a plane for the emitter, rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis, and move it onto the curve. Add a particle system, the particles will start falling. Select the curve, go to the Physics tab, and enable Force Field. Change the type from Force to Curve Guide to make the particles follow the path. Adjust the speed, and increase the particle lifetime to 100. Now add a sphere to use as the particle object. In the Particle Systems Render section, set the render type to Object and choose the sphere. Time to shade the particles. Select the sphere and open the Shader Editor. Create a new material and delete the principled BSDF. Add Particle Info and Map Range nodes. Connect Index to Value. Add a Color Ramp and feed the Map Range result into its factor. Add an Emission node, connect the Color Ramp to its color, and then connect Emission to the surface. Boost the Emission Strength for a strong glow. Switch the Render Engine to Cycles, and to GPU if you have one for faster renders. Back in the Shader Editor, change the Color Ramp Interpolation to Constant for clean color steps. Set the map range to max to 1000. This matches the emission number in the particle system. Add more color stops to create striking variations. And that's it. Your particles now flow along the curve with vibrant glowing colors. Render and enjoy your dynamic, animated scene.